that it? Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tech Show, welcome to GMIC. Very happy to be here. Uh, I'm Erickson Chan from Peng An Technology, Peng An Keuji. Uh, Peng An Keuji uh, is the company, technology company, providing tech service for uh, the entire Peng An group, insurance, bank, securities, and Lufax, Lu Jingzuo. Uh, and beyond that, we also service other banks in China. Uh, more importantly, we have a R&D institute. Uh, we have, in the last few years, we spent a lot of effort on do R&D on AI, artificial intelligence. And then we will share a bit on how we leverage AI on the fintech development in Peng An. And before that, uh, let's listen to this. I have just adjusted your China equities portfolio as the market has opened up 7% this morning. And by the way, your son is turning 12 tomorrow. I noticed he has been spending more time reading up on rockets. I recommend that you move 6.3% of your liquid holdings to the Ping An Intelligent Fund to support his space education. So this is a, a, a bot that is telling what I should be doing this morning. This is not this is just a simple port, uh, bot like a Siri. It understands my financial portfolio. It understands my family, my personal situation. It also understands the market sentiment and, and provide a suggestion and act on my behalf. So this is not just a simple AI from one perspective, but able to link them all up together. And this is the future. And is this future very far away? It's not. In fact, we are in the middle of it, and it should not take long before we have something like this to roll out. But what do we need to do uh, in order to have this kind of a linked up AI uh, for financial institutes? What is banking? What is financial services? It's relatively straightforward. We help you to save your money. We help you to invest, to grow your money, help you to spend your money. Before you spend your money, your money is worth nothing. Once you have money, you have the option. Option to buy products, option to buy services, to buy a house, buy a car, to get medical service, to take care of yourself. And we are trying to help you on all aspects of that. And meanwhile, and do it securely and safely. And also saving time. So banking services or insurance services is all about moving data. Moving data from one place to the other, process it, analyze it. So therefore, right now, an AI is specifically best for that. So this is why we are pushing so hard to use AI in financial services today. So, the most important foundation of what we have been doing is big data. Everybody talks about big data. It's not easy. Before we jump into AI, we need to make sure our big data is built up. Because in banks, in insurance company, in financial services, a lot of the data tend to be scattered around. Every product has its own system, has its own data. In order to get this done, you have to centralize all the data, cleanse them, process them, and build a platform. Build a platform so that we can leverage on it. And it is not easy. It took us quite a number of years, two, three years, just to, to do that, to collect all data centrally. And with the data, is the fuel, it's the petrol. Before that, you cannot really run any engine. I will call it the algorithm, the hardware, is the engine of uh, artificial intelligence. So today, there's a, the engine of AI there's a lot more, uh, is a lot more available than before. We have deep net neural networks, GPU, machine learning systems, Deep neural network help us what? Help us on recognizing, recognition, uh, natural language recognition, pattern recognition. So, and that is help us to understand what is happening around all of us. GPU or sometimes we use uh, customized chips is able to process a massive amount of data 
a lot faster, two times, three times faster, faster than a normal GPU, uh, CPU. And machine learning systems is one of the most critical part. Why we're at the tipping point of using AI in, in uh, banking and uh, insurance? Because of machine learning systems is now a lot more open than before. Counterfactual uh, regret, minimalization. So self-learning, reinforcement. This is all now readily available. When you package different AI systems together, it becomes very powerful. We can analyze a lot of data in a very short period of time and give us insights. That was not possible before. So we have the big data. We have the algorithm. Of course, we need to have the talent to bring them all together. Even though there's a lot more university students uh, getting into AI, it's not enough. Because the demand is far higher than supply today. <clears throat> so what we do, we work with partners, uh, many partners in GMAC uh, today. Uh, we work with partners, we work with different universities to have a complement each other, to do R&D together. So this is to speed up what we want to do using AI in FinTech. <clears throat> so we get data, we get algorithm, we get talent, but that is still not the most important thing. The most important thing, and it's special for banking, special for insurance, is the scenarios, use cases. Without scenario, if you only have data, algorithm, and talent, we have a lot of solutions without problems. You will have a lot of solutions looking for problems. So if we have the scenario, it's a both bottom-up and top-down approach merging. This is very, very important and why we have been able to do what we have been doing. Because we have the financial expertise. We know financial products. We know insurance products. So therefore, Lufax will be one of the fantastic examples of that. We know banking, and we, once we have AI and FinTech together, it will create a tremendous value for our customers. And I will give you a bit more examples uh, on that. So what is Ping An? In one sentence, Ping An is, is big, obviously. Uh, it's the 40, uh, 41st, uh, 41 ranking globally today uh, among all companies. So Ping An is a world-leading personal financial service provider, focusing on finance, healthcare. But in order to provide finance and healthcare, we also take care of what we call it yi shi zhu xing huan. So it's all aspects of your lifestyle in order to link up to the ecosystem of finance and healthcare. Why Ping An is special? or why Ping An technology is able to do what we have been doing? Because we have hundreds, hundreds of different financial services scenarios. And then we have a huge customer base. We have 346 million users. And we have a R&D, continuous R&D investment. And we have an R&D institute. And on top of that, we have 20,000 computer engineers. Of the 20,000 computer engineers, we have 200 uh, data scientists, PhDs on board to help us to develop our own technology here. So now that we have built the platform, da big data, we have the algorithm, we have the right people and scenario, what we do is to turn in different cognition into decisions in every aspect. What kind of cognition, for example, it could be facial, voice, visual, movement, sentiment, emotion. We capture them all and link them together and make a decision. So for example, you would have seen a number of the facial recognition uh, technologies out there. You have seen all these different technologies, but then without that, Without a scenario, it's still just a technology. So what we do, we're able to use different artificial intelligence to assess the risk profile 
of our customer. So there is a personal loan. If you want to apply a loan, you can go online. We can immediately use AI engine to de determine your risk level, and then use facial recognition to look at this to make sure you are you. Within six minutes, within six minutes, we're able to dispatch the personal loan online for you because of different AI. So we understand if you are you and you, you, uh, your risk profile, and we make a decision to give you the money within six minutes. Voice recognition, similarly. So when you call, call us. We know who you are before you tell us who you are. And we know how you feel if you're happy with our service. If we sense that you're not happy with our service, we will adjust our service accordingly. It's very, very customer focused. So we turn cognition into decision immediately. Visual. So Ping An Auto Insurance, Tan uh, Xian, as your uh, uh, automobile insurance is a core business of ours. So if your car is damaged, what you need to do, you simply need to upload your photos using our APP. You upload your photo. We can determine the damage level of your car. So do, if the panel is damaged, do you need to just a paint job, body work, or you need to replace the whole panel? Once you take the photo, our engine will be able to determine the damage level and able to determine how much reimbursement you should get. And within minutes, your reimbursement, the money, will be in your account. This is all based on cognition and to make a decision how much the customer should get immediately. This was not possible before. And this is a technology we built ourselves. There's no engine out there, no model out there to turn a photo in order to figure out how much your car, uh, it will cost us to fix your car. In addition to visual, voice, you look at the sentiment. Based on the news on the internet, we capture all the news feed on the internet and understand your personal profile to determine what kind of financial product, what kind of financial solutions you will need so that we can have a bespoke, a tailor-made portfolio of financial products for you. So when you log in, it will suggest a portfolio, and if you agree, we'll execute it for you. There is no one size fit all. Every single customer will have their own portfolio. So we have plenty of ex examples to turn cognition into decision. But then, every single one of them is still, I call it a narrow AI. It's a weak AI because they only address one particular issue. They are not all linked up. In order to give value to our customer, we need to absolutely link them all up. The advantage of a company like Ping An, because we are in healthcare, finance, automobile, housing, we, have, we know you a lot, a lot more better than if you just go online to do some shopping. We call it ourselves a Ping An 360 for you. Every single aspect in your life that is important for you, we understand it. So many of the fintech company, a lot of the fintech company, they address a small part of your issue day to day. They are trying to unbundle the financial services. So, but unbundle is like if I go to a restaurant, order a meal, but instead of giving me a meal, you give me some raw vegetables and some raw chicken and ask me to have a chicken rice myself. That is not what our customer want. Our customer want is an end-to-end -end total solution. So therefore, we must link them all together in order to turn narrow AI into strong, smart AI. It's not just facial recognition. It's not just voice. It's not just your financial situation. We need to link them all together. And that is the future of AI in finance. And this is what we, are, we have been working on. So if we have all this good AI we have built, FinTech solutions. Should we just keep it to ourselves? We think it differently. 
We want to democratize it. We want to share it. We want to share what we have developed with everyone else. Why? Because we believe this is a win-win situation. Some of the financial institutes, some of the banks, a bit smaller bank, they would not have the resources to do what we have been doing. They might not have the know-how, even if they really wanted to. But they also have their customer base. So if we share what we have done with them, they can offer similar service to their customer. Why would we want to do that? With more and more customers able to enjoy better financial solutions, it will create a whole demand. The entire finance industry will be growing at the same time, not just the finance industry in a few cities, in Shanghai, in Beijing, and Guangzhou. But we will be able to grow the financial industry across the whole China. And when we do that, this is not only benefiting other banks, it will benefit Peng An also. This is why we have been doing what we have been doing. We want to share. We want to democratize it. So, and how do we do that? We put it all on a cloud. Ping An Yun, Ping An Jin Rong Yun. So we put, put it on a cloud so that other institutes, other banks, other insurance company can leverage our fintech, AI-based fintech, quickly, easily, at the low cost. So, and this is a, we look at it, this is a blue ocean right now. We share our technology through our fin cloud service with everyone out there. This is the future. So, if we look at all this, is AI changing fintech? Is AI changing financial technology? Definitely. It has, it's already changing. Is fintech changing the banking? Is fintech changing insurance company? Definitely. It's not a question if it is. The question is only how fast it is. So for us, it's not only asking how we are going to leveraging AI, how we are leveraging fintech, but more so, are we ready? Are we prepared? Are we preparing the entire company? Are we preparing our customers? Are we preparing our own staff? Our staff also need to, our employee also need to sh sh swift, uh, sh shift the way we have been doing business. Everybody needs to be a lot more tax savvy. And this is the future. We are very, very bullish about using AI for fintech and to change how banking insurance is, has been doing business. And we would like to share with you. Thank you very much. Hi, Erickson. Ping An's shares are up another 3%. You should come here more often. I like Beijing. I do like Beijing. Thank you.